Hi, so um, in this video we're going to talk about the volume of a cylinder. Um, this is uh, an exam grade question, probably around about uh, three marks, round about level C. Okay, now the first thing is to um, look at how to work out the volume. So the volume equals the area times the depth. Okay. Now, we have an area which is the circle at the top and then the depth of the unit here. And the information that we've been given is that the diameter is 20 centimetres and the height of the unit is 30 centimetres. Well, if the diameter is 20 centimetres, then the radius, which we need to work out the area of the circle, is half of that, which is 10 centimetres. So, to work out the area of a circle, it is pi r squared. And if you look at one of the other videos, that will give you some information on working out areas of circles. So, pi is usually given to you on the exam paper and usually is 3.142. Very occasionally you might see it as 22 over 7, but more recently and more usually 3.142. Uh, the radius of this particular area at the top is five, uh, sorry, big one, 10 centimetres, so it's 10, and it's radius squared, so 10 times 10. Squared means radius times radius. Okay, so that will give you a value of the area of the circle. And then just at the end here, I'm going to put multiply by the depth which we know as 30 centimetres. Okay, now a couple of things just to be aware of is you need to make sure that you're always multiplying by the same units each time. So it might be the height is given to you as uh, metres and the diameter is given to you as millimetres. So you just need to convert to the correct units and multiply them all together. So 3.142 times 10 times 10 will give me the area of this top circle, which is 314.2. Um, it's actually centimetres squared. Okay. Uh, multiply the depth, which is 30. And if I multiply those together, I get 9,426 centimetres cubed. Okay, and that will give me the volume of this cylinder. Okay, if you look at uh, mathsrap.co.uk, which is probably right there on the screen, you'll be able to download some working sheets, um, and that will give you a little bit of practice on working out the volumes of a cylinder. Hope that's helpful, and good luck. Thank you.